Hey everyone, this is Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and this is my dad, Roy. Hi and <laughs> hey everyone. He is actually got the Outcast uh, Fish Cat for Deluxe and the burnt orange one, which is really cool color. And since he's doing this, I'm going to get a video of this too. We'll compare them all, the uh, Outcast Super Fat Cat and the Cumberland all together. So, Dad, you can keep going ahead and taking this guy apart. So again, this is the Fish Cat for Deluxe. It, it's, it's, it, the Deluxe means, I believe, Dad, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the Deluxe means that you actually have an inflatable seat as well. An inflatable seat as well. Fish Cat for Deluxe. There we go. But very cool colors. I like I like it that it's not black because black attracts and absorbs the heat. Uh, so yeah, the valve system is not the same as the Super Fat Cat, but it's the same as the Cumberland. So they call I believe they're called Boston valves. And uh, maybe my dad can get the camera and I could blow this up for him. And as I did before, so there's two, so that's a difference right now for the super fat cat to this, the different valves. And um, like now that I've done it, I like it. It looks like Outcast has had the presence of mind to stitch the valve right into the boat, which is really good. So thank goodness for that. It didn't cheap out there. Just gonna place that in. It's a little bit more of a press fit here, which is nice. Inspires a bit more confidence. I'm just gonna swap this one side up a bit. I'm gonna do the seat after I do this a little bit. Because I want everything to balance off nicely. And what did you pay pay for this here, Dad? Uh, I think it was 375. 375 Canadian. So I'm just gonna do again it's for me I like the things to be perfect in terms of using guys I, don't, I want them to be balanced I'm gonna take this off now so there's two valve system two bladders that means the super fat cat has just one we're gonna take the inflatable seat indeed this does have the inflatable seat and we're going to use it, get it going first so that the bladders don't decide the balance of the seat, that the seat def decides the balance. And one of the things I'm finding right now is I need the tube. It's a magical it's tube. It's on the kitchen table. But this boat has the tube in it. So this has a single pocket. And there's the tube there, the magical tube. Don't lose this tube. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have to find a way to replace that. And they've got some other valves in here, actually, as well, for the Boston. But you don't really need these because these pumps that are common, very typical. Um, there's a bit of a patch kit and stuff in here as well. Hopefully, you'll never need that. Um, this, this tube here for this boat is not needed for anything else other than the seat. So we're gonna do the seat here. There, that's how you attach. It's just press fitting the two sides together in that adjoining, adjoining PVC tube. And you wanna reach inside there. And make sure everything's nice and flat and organized so it expands nicely and fills that hole the, the, the PVC dernier or whatever it might be called nicely and evenly evenly is the key because you're going to be sitting on this thing all day long probably or at least half a day probably
So yeah, that's feeling pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more pump maybe or two. And again, I think you can just adjust how much you pump this. I'm gonna leave the tube on there and we're gonna go back to these guys now and finish these up. This is good exercise actually. <laughs> <laughs> And my dad's, he's not as quite as large as I am, so I'm gonna leave it not as hard as I have mine. Double check this here, everybody. Yeah, it feels feels even. I like it to be even. And we're gonna close these valves off. We're gonna finish up the chair. Again, same valve system. I'm just gonna take the tube, the adjoining tube. Gonna expand the air ladders within. Make them nice and expanded so that everything is even when we do the inflation. So again, this is the Super Fat Cat for the sorry, not the Super Fat Cat, the Fish Cat for Deluxe. It's not as large as the Super Fat Cat. And it's less expensive, but it's got much of the same features. And I'm just finishing up the install or the uh, inflation of the. Back rest of the seat. That feels pretty good. You could, again, you can adjust the softness or the firmness by obviously inflating it differently. And we're just going to cap these guys off again. Tuck them into the folds of the fabric here. That's the valves, that is. And this guy also. And then again, on the back, the camera comes close. You guys can see what I've done here. And we can pull these down to naturally bring the seat up to sort of a, a stable level. Now, you can adjust these straps here to get some reclining if you want reclining. I don't like reclining, it tires my back. I like it to have it fairly straight up and down. It feels not unnatural right at first, but after about a few seconds, you're like, yes, that's what I like. You'll see. So now, to finalize this guy, we're gonna take it and put it next to these guys and see the difference in size. 
So you can see the difference if the camera sweeps this way. Um, I'm going to get the apron on this guy too. While the camera's looking at the difference in the size of the different products here. This Fish Cat 4 Deluxe, the Super Fat Cat LCS is actually in the middle and then the Cumberland on the right. And again, here's this funky little system. I'm going to take your wrap here, Dad, and put it in your little pocket here. There's a mesh extra pocket on the back here. And we're just going to take this guy, fold her all out. Again, the slots here, same system. There's pockets next to the seat here. And then next to the seat here, obviously you're going to want the numbers outwards for measuring the huge fish you're going to catch in these boats. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And you can see it comes down to the seams there. And there it is. Now we'll take this guy and we'll do a bit of a comparison here. You can see the pockets on the Super Fat Cat are much larger. Um, there's a single zipper system here. And there's another pocket here, but there's no in in side pockets like on this one. Uh, again, there's a back pocket here that's fairly substantial. This is more of sort of like a, a very small little, probably for your stripping lead or your little leaders and stuff. Um, and then the size. We're gonna take this guy and just put it right on top of the other guy. And the camera, I mean, it doesn't look a lot different, but you can see I mean, the difference is not a huge one, but it is a bit more compact. And maybe the better way to show this off is to take these guys. And put them up like this. Maybe the cameraman can just grab this one just for a sec. Maybe the cameraman can grab this one just for a sec. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, and then go back to where you were, if you please. Go back to that spot in front of us. And then the camera can see clearly the difference in size this way. This is a better way to see it. So you can see this one's probably about a foot longer in length. Maybe, maybe, maybe not quite, but somewhere in there, 10 inches, eight to eight to 12 inches longer. Um, the thickness of the bladders seem about the same, so it's really just more the length. And then we take these guys. Maybe the camera can circumvent here now. Circumvent the. Circumvent me and just have a look this way. Close, careful look. It's all the way around. And there you have the difference of the two. You're getting the same materials. I think actually, I was noticing here the bladder as well. You can see it through the orange. I think they're the same bladder material. This one has, on it, light. You can see right here, the camera can see right here, the word light. And I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing that it's that same polypropylene or ethylene or urethane, I'm not sure, but it's a very light but durable membrane ladder that can last you a very long time. So I don't know what classic accessories it's using. Here is a classic accessories boat. Again, I, I like the inflatable seat better. Um, we'll take these guys. We'll do the same thing with the classic accessories. If you're smaller, the Fish Cat 4 is a fantastic tube. It looks like the height of these is very similar, actually, believe it or not. And there you have them 
Uh, you can see the height's a little higher for sure on this guy, but it's probably more like a six or a five inch distance of, of difference. The weights are very comparable actually um, of these two boats. Uh, almost identical, like I can't notice the difference of them at all. So, uh, there's no pocket system behind the Fish Cat 4 Deluxe, whereas this, the Outcast, this one has a rudimentary pocket, one single pocket. This one here, the Super Fat Cat, has a very elaborate pocket system in the back, actually. I'll show you guys that. It has uh, pocket zippers here, so you can put stuff in here. It has pocket zippers here. That you can put stuff in here and there's a pocket here. So there's actually three pockets in the back of your the back of your seat here on the super fat cat. So there's some definitely some deluxe features. Um, like you notice this still has the cup holders here. But yeah, you're definitely a reduction on pocket space on this the, the Fish Cat 4 Deluxe here. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com doing a comparison of all three boats. In this case now of the Fish Cat 4 Deluxe, Super Fat Cat 4 LCS, and the Cumberland Classic Accessories boat or float tube or kick boat or belly boat. Call us at 1-855-784-3474. We're glad to help you out with an amazing fish finder mounting system for these. We're going to show you that in the next couple videos. Thanks for watching everyone.